Welcome back to Beyond the Blue, everyone, and without further ado, this is part two of Growing Up. I don't think I've... I genuinely don't think I've been to the washroom at an FTX. Interesting. Oh, I, I also, like, I'm drink the concerned. minimal amount of water required. So... That's not good for you! <laughs> that's, that's very bad. Okay, yeah. well, I guess you saved yourself. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't think that really counts as saving yourself. Yeah, no. I oh, really, really <laughs> yeah, bad. Yeah, no, but I... Okay, wait, speaking of... Okay, transition into really, really good. Uh, Charity Gray just texted me, talking about, like, her midterm season. Oh, I remember her? Everybody loved her. Yeah. I miss her so much. Like, if I could- if we could replace Robbie with her right now, I'd be, like, top of the world. So happy. Yeah. Why you. would you replace Robbie? Yeah, anything we should get rid of you. Damn. Damn. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, okay. Alright. I guess we're just revealing what we had last year, but, like, behind the scenes, you know? <laughs> It's really oh. cool because like there's like barely anyone left. I was like talking to Chen yesterday. I was like, "Why did you guys all leave?" It was weird. It's because we're all opportunities. We had to leave. Oh, that's exactly it. Oh, <laughs> before I answer though, why did we all leave? Did you guys like for everyone that's listening? You know that Charity Gray is actually older than me, but like I was like a senior to her for a while. It was a very confusing situation. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's because, yeah, Charity's my bit. We were best friends in, like, um, elementary school, and then, like, she moved away, and then, like... Yeah, I would want to be best friends yeah. with you. It was elementary <laughs> I'm sure that? she didn't know any better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one, I evaluate you, Yuan, okay? Like, I give you your marks this year, so maybe... <laughs> <laughs> we have resorted to that, okay? <laughs> 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 Wait, I just realized, Katie, we, you and I were kind of friends in high school. Kind of? I thought we were friends! No, we were, what? we were, don't get me wrong, like, I just remembered, like, I don't know. Low-key, when I graduated, like, on the topic of growing up, which I don't know if we're still doing, but like, when I graduated, low-key, I just thought to myself, that was a waste of time. Like, I'm not saying don't go to high school, like, finish your education, but like, Nothing happened, at least not to me. Like, I didn't get into, like, drama or anything. Like, no, I think- but... My friend group is full of drama, it's so I... fun. Like, for me, my drama started probably, like, the day of graduation. It was weird. Oh, oh God, was do you mean, concept. like, how you have to live stream volleyball? And that, like, you can't go uh, home that's... early? Nah, that's, yeah, that's so something else. So that's another- Yeah. That's, so... that's another part of my life. I mean more of, like, friends getting into relationships and out of relationships every two months it's fun yikes first of all that's unhealthy you know what's really unhealthy the fact what? that the You're boy and the girl come to me for advice after the breakup so i have um, to like, there's been, like i have to do both sides at the same time here's the thing though like the best thing to do in that situation is give them different advice and just like confuse I, them even more i do it would be so entertaining so much fun you're evil. It's so much power. Don't. Too much Plus, power. everyone tells me everything because they think that I don't care, but... I mean, hey, if you want to tell me more things... Collecting like, info? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. No, that's that's smart. Like, just stay in the background and, like, be somebody that people can trust. Trust. I agree. Yeah. I tried that. It's It's pretty boring, not gonna lie. Well, if there's no drama going on, it's pretty boring. But when there is drama, it's so much fun. When you're in it, it's just stressful, and you want to crawl into a hole and die. Oh. Yeah. In the okay. Um. Back on topic. So that that was a really good question. Like, why did everybody leave? And I think like, twin like, the cadet program is really lovely in that it gives you such a host of experiences. And then you kind of just have to decide, like, if it's worth it or not. Because I'm not staying for myself anymore. I'm staying because if I didn't stay, we wouldn't have anybody to run the squadron. And I want to, like, give one last really great year to you guys, right? And that's why, like, that's why Dylan Wong stayed, too. And that's why Val stayed. Because, like, we want to give back what the program's been giving to us. And yeah. Robbie didn't stay because Robbie hates me, I guess. Robbie hits the program. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
right? Well, okay. You know what? Low key, let's like now that you bring that up. I mean, yeah, like let's talk about it. Sometimes <laughs> there's things within the program that could use some fixing. It's just like yeah. not always a hundred percent perfect. There's a lot. Yeah. That's what like that's what I I spent my entire summer doing. You guys just yeah. like talking with other people us. about how to fix the program. That's mm. what you told us. Like, you said you guys just <laughs> okay, played games also... and whatnot. Okay, well, we also played games and laughed at fish, but, like, we also thought about ways to fix the program. I think, like, the worst part about it is, like, sometimes it's too competitive. Well, yeah, like, I think it's too competitive sometimes, which I think that just comes naturally. I don't know if it's really the structure of the program or if it's just, like, people really, like, taking things out of proportion. Like, for me, in level four, you guys kept yelling at us because we, like, sucked and didn't know how to treat each other. Which, looking back, was that really necessary? You guys literally yelled at us, like, every second week and was like, you guys need to get your shit together. You guys hate each other. You guys don't care about Da, 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 da. Okay, no, no, no. no, so Robbie and I were in that, and it was like the three of us, and it wasn't like you guys like hated each other, it was like, we just like couldn't figure out why you couldn't work together, and it like, it confused us too, because individually all of you were so great, but like, together, it was like a ball of like, like you know, like, you know, like when you watch like hockey or rugby, and like everybody just piles on top of like one dude to like try yeah. and get the ball? Like, we were really confused as to why you couldn't share the ball. Yeah. <laughs> it was almost like you all wanted that one spotlight when the spotlight was very much big enough to share for everyone. Um, well, and it personally, was... I didn't want the spotlight because I pretty much hated anything that had to, like... Mental health night, like my first event, I didn't even know what I was doing. Like on parade, I'm pretty sure like Katie was beside me. Valerie was in front of me because you were Suo at the time. No, yes, I don't know. You were something, right? And then like you guys were like, oh, boy, can you like calm down and stop trembling? Like your event is gonna be fine. <laughs> like, do you remember? Did you actually say that? <laughs> yeah, you're like stop that. worrying so but much. I don't remember saying off. that. Or like you guys were, we're gonna protect you, da da da. Like it's gonna be fine. Like don't worry so much. I don't know. But like level four is just too competitive. Like I remember, and like my level pretty much remembers too. Like, I guess in some point. ways it is part of a program, and in some ways it's just how people think about it. Like some people mm -hmm. don't even bother with the competition because they realize that like eventually, however much you put in and how much effort that you do for the squadron. It eventually gets recognized, and even if it doesn't, well, like, cadets isn't the end of it, right? Because yeah. however yeah. effort you put into something, not everyone's going to notice it. And it's not like we're all doing a reality show, like, oh, look at this person, it's such a good Samaritan, you know, kind of thing. Um, no. And then I guess, like, the program makes it really hard because they always make it limited in spots, and there's just so many... Yeah, people who are worthy for the position, and yet there's not enough to actually give to that person. Yeah, well, the thing is, so we talked about this over the summer too. It's because, like, on one hand, the program tries to offer like something that like everybody can find something in, right? Like, I genuinely like every cadet I've talked to um have genuinely like they found something in the program, but because they try to offer such a wide range of things, it ends up that there's not enough spots for everybody in everything. And the thing with your level when you guys were fours is that, like, everybody was just so strong and there was a lot of overlap in what you were strong at, which bred that really competitive nature. Um, and then plus everybody was friends, right? So there was a lot of drama, too, because it wasn't like, like, it wasn't, oh, no, what were my words? Um, It was, wait, wait. Oh, clicky, 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 right? Yeah, no? yeah, like, it wasn't. It wasn't friendship in a way that like you only knew each other in cadets and so it was a healthy competition it was that every single one of you knew each other outside of cadets as well and you were friends outside of cadets so inevitably like the outside of cadet feelings sink into inside cadets and then inside cadet feelings sink into outside cadets and that just bred a very like emotional and competitive 
environment and like you guys you know like you didn't want to like nobody set boundaries because you guys were friends outside the cadets and nobody was willing to like say hard things so yeah yeah no one was willing to say hard things like a lot of our battles but like that's okay that's okay like look at where you're at now right everybody found their niche and we're doing good i think i hope but like yeah i don't know <laughs> like <laughs> like when i was in level four i think the only person i talked to was bang because like i don't know i feel like the culture at 918 specifically because we're so good like i don't know it's just like much. everyone was like <laughs> Bobby, shut it. like everyone wanted to like be the better than the person beside them and reach for the top mm-hmm. which it's always good to like reach really high but I think, like, sometimes, like, there were just, like, unhealthy ways of, like, you know, thinking well, about it. Well, apparently, Hunter thinks I'm a qu- quiet kid. Really Jokes! Quiet. No, that's what, that's what your sister said. Your Jokes. sister was like, Hunter thinks you're a quiet kid, so he made you flight commander, so you'd speak out more. And I'm so wait, is that what he said to you? Yeah, something like that. That way, that's not what we, that's not what we agreed on. Wait a minute. That's, okay, yeah, no, but, like, Wait a minute. Nah, she said the other things, but like then she 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 said other stuff. And Wait, apparently, okay. hundreds of off, quiet. Off person. topic question. Slightly off topic question, but how much do you still care for the program, the people that are still in it? How much um, do you still care about, or if you ever did? I guess. I'll go first. I, like, I do. I care about the people here. And, like, I've had so many experiences, right? So, like, if anything, like, I want to stay and do what I can to give back. And, like, it's given me so much. So I want to be able to do it justice. But, like, for myself, like, I'm not getting anything more out of it. It's all for, like, you guys now. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll go next. Um, Not going to lie, I never really cared about the program. Being in it, being not in it, uh, doesn't matter to me. But now that now that I'm a flight commander and I put in this leadership position, it's more of a, I'm gonna do this for the level twos because I met them over the summer and they're great kids and I'm not about to destroy their hopes and dreams. So I'll do it for them. But for myself, I genuinely could not care less if cadets just stopped. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was basically my mindset through. Uh, past level four. As soon as I hit level five, I'm like, I don't care to be here. I just, I just care about the people and the friends that I have here. So I stayed. Um, For me, I think I stayed because, well, at first it was like, this is gonna set me up like for 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 like for life, you know? Like I'm gonna get a job because of Air Cadets because it prepared me so well. But as of right now, like. I'm mainly staying because I just want to do what I can to, like, do what I can for the well-being of our juniors, especially, like, our new seniors, because I'm with level fours now, and they're the future of our squadron, so I guess it's just, like, you know, my responsibility and my flight staff's responsibility to nurture them the best we can so that that they don't, like... Yeah, (laughs) 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 to like do what we can to like make sure that they like still uphold the standards of 918. Yeah, 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 that's that's very nice. That's very nice of you. I I gave up as soon as I'm like, I can go to university, I'm I'm just dead, I could not take it anymore. I no, have a know. very we strong know. hatred for this program. <laughs> Get me out. And yeah, well, that's there... the thing. Like, it, like you either like love it and you find so much su- success in it, or like you're like really lukewarm about it, or you just absolutely hate it because it's only ever brought you like stress. stress you know? Yeah. Stress wasn't my problem with it. Totally. I didn't do anything in cadets, so it didn't bring me any stress. I was his problem with it. <laughs> um. Yes, 100%. That was it. Yeah. Um, no, the whole program itself, like, when I first joined, I was forced into it. Forced, I didn't really know what the program was. My parents were like, do it. So, I got into it. I long for me going to cadets. Mm. 
want. We hear about that a lot. And yeah, but <laughs> after I made friends, and I'm like, I'm loving the program. So, so level two and level me, three. Me. I, I was, was I was great. the friend he made. I our friend group friend. was next level. We made so, so many great. problems for our seniors mm-hmm. and our officers. It was great. Like remember, had- remember that one FTX where we just stole like fresh naps. Oh yeah, the fresh, <laughs> the, the great fresh nap place. There was the one where AJ called nine one one on the phone, and Wait, then, who, who did like that? Matthews called up. It was AJ. Oh right. And then we sang like that really dumb song in level three for all of the FTX. We just pissed off everybody. Yeah. That was you guys. Yeah. <laughs> we, it was just our friend group, like actual menaces. And it was good. Yeah. And then we went to DCI. Um, nothing, I wasn't really too pressed about DCI. There's people that were there like crying because they didn't make it into RDT or something. Just like, so what? Yeah. That was me. I was yeah. the person crying because I didn't make it into OKDT. Yeah, like, that I, was really little, like, I was a little sad about it, but I'm like, okay, whatever, just move on. Mm-hmm. Nothing I can do about it now. There's people that were like not about to try out just because they just believe that they don't make it, and then they make it, which made me even angrier. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's we'll talk about that do. another time. <laughs> uh, and then that's I come back, I, I try hard as a senior in level four, um, doesn't get me anywhere, and then I'm just because like, I tried harder, baby. Yeah, you well, know what? Go you, go you. Yeah, go you. Someone who knows her worth. Exactly. Yeah. But my problem with tryharding was I wasn't being myself. Like I wasn't leading in a way. I wasn't like acting in a way that I normally would. I was just being like, oh, mm-hmm. I'm a drill cadet that just came from DCI. Mm-hmm. Right, <laughs> and that's my biggest issue with the program it it makes it it breeds people to be fake and to be to be like act completely different from what they would be like instead of focusing on a person's strengths and using those to help them succeed it forces them to change the way they are and conform to how what they think they should be in order to succeed and it is a horrendous thing to do to people that are growing up it's something that I think like the pandemic has helped with. I was at the CCC meeting yesterday with like the entire like Calgary as an expert, by the way, Griff and I are like best friends now. Um, but it was something that we talked about how like the pandemic at least has opened up new roles like media and tech and shit. Sorry again. Um, that allowed other people to like kind of grow into it. Cause Robbie's so right. Like when you're in person, especially like you're forced to conform to this one specific standard of like outgoing and extroverted and out there, and if you don't do that, you, like, can't succeed, and I think it's really fucking shit. Sorry again. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> like, I totally agree, because I don't really, okay, I already talked to him about this, and, like, we're good, but, like, woe to on, probably the most, like, outgoing guy I've ever met. He's great, like, we're really good friends, but, like, when I was in level four, I absolutely hated him, both him and Heidi Leung. Like, I was like, those two suck, and you're the reason I'm never going to succeed in life. I hate both of you. I hate myself. I hate everyone on my level. I am going to go home, die in a hole, and just cry, right? But, like... Don't worry, Kimani. Anyways, I hate Heidi, too. The truth has just been so... so like, <laughs> the thing is, like, once I was, like, with media, I didn't even start doing my job until the pandemic. And it was because everyone was freaking out. I remember Katie texted me. She was like, can you please do your job and like start bringing cadets together? And I'm like, okay, sure. And then like senior takeovers happened and then Thursday questionnaires happened. And then, you know, I started making videos, which I had so much fun making. Um, And then like, I kind of accepted myself for being like super quiet. Like, I don't think I'll ever be someone who like can, you know, be super loud. Like, for example, Wo2 Ravi, like, because we would use your help, like, in level two, but, like, I think it, it just made it easier for me to just be quiet and still be a really strong cadet, because you don't always have to be, like, super loud just to be, like, considered as a good cadet. I think I have a lot of strengths. Like, I'm a flight commander right now, right? So, like, for sure. I mean, you're doing I've something got, yeah. you, like, like, you're amazing. You're out here girl bossing. So, yeah. So, it was just, yeah, it was just, I, th- I think, like, we should start to, like, 
put different people in leadership because you don't really know what's going to come out of it. I want to say I'm very glad that there are people that look at me and think I'm just like some quiet, like a not like aggressive person that's just there, but still a good cadet. Because first of all, I did zero work. And also that quietness came from my um, lack of care for the program. So I'm very surprised it worked out. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say you did zero work, Robbie. Like, I would say you did like one work. One. Okay, work. I'm not that mean. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, maybe two work. <laughs> maybe two work. Like, I completely agree. Like, I, I'm not even like, like sad that I didn't do as much work in my last year or in my second last year. I'm like, like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm happy about it. I'm just saying that it makes no difference to me. I, like at all. I, yeah. It was really I funny. would say, like... Sorry, go ahead. All right, well, because in level three, I think Ravi taught uh, the level threes a lesson when I was in level three. And he basically showed up and went, I didn't plan anything for this. I'm just going to wing it. And I swear to God, it was the best aviation lesson I've ever heard. Oh. It was the only aviation lesson I ever paid attention to. Yeah. It's... Transparency is important when you're a senior. Just be yourself. Mm-hmm. And... Okay, guys, listening to this, be yourself. Be who you. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, um, Cadets gives you the opportunities mm -hmm. to find those parts of yourself, but that doesn't mean you should let Cadets change who you are to fit in to something that you aren't. Absolutely not, yeah. The Cadets, the people who find the most success in the program, and who find the most value are the ones who like are themselves and are true to themselves and they're the most likable ones too like Ravi genuinely like last year without you like we probably would have struggled a lot more because you just brought like a kind of leisure and exuberance to the team that like we didn't have like genuinely I'm gonna like be nice right now I think like you were my favorite part of last year so Mm -hmm. okay that's it I'm done being nice (laughs) <laughs> thank you I mean to prove it he did opening and closing and then we got more responses from cadets I remember yeah <laughs> like once he started like hosting opening parade yeah <laughs> like the level 2 Everybody spot, had, I had, had fun with that I had a lot of fun with that because like why why would I just try and make it like an on parade like we're in person kind of thing Right, because we're not on a parade square, so make it as fun as possible. Well, that was my whole idea with yeah, it. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm like I'm very glad I spent most of my time last year on call with the level ones and the level twos and the level threes. Some time with the level four. I did spend a decent amount of time with the level fours too. But if I like, I would. I'm so happy I did that over just like planning out events and being like a tryhard senior. I think it was so, so much better because I got to be myself around these level ones and twos and they got to see a relatable senior and they made them a lot. I think personally, it, it, from what I saw, it made them more open to working on an online environment. And I'm very glad that worked out. Not to toot my own horn, but I am so happy I, I got to spend time with Like I drank, I drank ketchup for the level ones and I would do it again. All right. I remember that. That was amazing. It was not. Okay, are we are we done filming? Baseball. Can we like can we pause so that we can like talk about mm. shit now? No. Haha! Uh, uh, why you do me like this, Quinn? We need the content, please. <laughs> they do need the content. Talk about dumb That's stuff. why I'm here. About dumb stuff. But yeah. Um. <laughs> Sorry. I feel like I don't know what to say. So, if anyone wants to jump in. Uh, now would be a great time before <laughs> I say something really dumb. Well, uh, I wanna, I just wanna put out before we move on. In cadets, right? I'm not saying that you guys should leave because this this program will score you so many jobs when you're older, and it'll 100% work to stay in purely so you can put stuff in your resume. But, but, please do not sweat and change who you are just so you can like succeed in the program, no matter what you do. Um, as long as you appeal, like, if, as long as you're doing your job, right, as long as you just get the work done, it's fine. Like, a word, like, a word, too, that did a whole bunch of stuff changing, um, 
like how they are, how they like talk to people and how they lead. And a woe two like me who just sat there and did nothing. Still both both woe twos. Still can put that on your resume and call and, and get the same amount of like like benefits out of it. Right. Exactly. So also don't just do nothing. That is one thing that's said. Um like make sure you actually are able to do stuff before you do nothing. How else do I phrase that? Like make sure you're actually able to get work done when necessary. Right? That's when you know you can like take a step back. Right? Yeah. That's Why advice would... from from um previous war to Ravi. Now just alcoholic Ravi. <laughs> That, that has to be a blooper. We can't put that in the podcast. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, that is about all the time. So, I've I've been Flight Sergeant Yuan. That's Flight Sergeant Kimani. That was Wo Tu Ravi. That was One Officer First Class Leung. Now CV Leung, and that is One Officer First Class Quinn. I'm over here. But not on my screen. Just my screen is the screen. one that's recording. So. Don't worry about it. And yeah, um, that's all we have for you guys today. So until next time, we'll see you on the other side of the blue.